you think about the whiteboards today? Something you'll use? Thumbs up if it's something you'll use. I'm seeing some thumbs. Okay, how easy is that? How easy is that going to be to um, talk to your principals about? And maybe you've asked for whiteboards before and they're like, hey, you know, it's not in the budget. They're expensive. Okay, but oh my gosh, a sheet protector and a piece of paper? And then the activities that we use to engage you in using the whiteboards for responses? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you, hang on, I got you primed, I know, because I'm hearing you buzz, okay? I'm gonna give you two minutes to just talk briefly at your table about, okay, so we've got those response boards. We've got them. So how are we gonna use them? Just share real quick how you're gonna use them with your table. Yeah, and I heard um, our responses here, not that I didn't hear other good responses, but one that really kind of got me um, excited because it hit on some things that weren't even up here on the slide in terms of benefits of using response boards. So Jessica, will you share what you, what you were telling your group? Okay, well, I actually have whiteboards in my room, so I was told they were the ones that I would have to, but then as we're talking, I'm getting excited because they're inexpensive, so every kid can have one in their binder, so it's time-saving, because it takes time for me to get my kids up and go get the whiteboards, and then, you know, it's chaotic because I teach seventh graders, and so they're bumping each other, and it just would be so time-saving to say, get out your whiteboard, they just have it in their binder. We love that it's inexpensive. We could put a review worksheet in there and they could do the same review worksheet every day for a whole week and you're saving on paper because you're only doing one copy per kid. So we love that they can just erase it and then do that same review sheet the next day. So we see a lot of it. So here you could use true false. You could just create a card that was true false. You could create a card that was A, B, C, D on the four corners. And there's even a tech tool out there called Plickers, which we won't. Write it down if you want. Um, but they have clickers out there now that you can use and you use your device to scan your students as they're holding up the card. And then it feeds right into, it's web-based, it feeds right in and you can display the responses of your students. So that's kind of cool too. But the power being, we are increasing responses, right? We are increasing the participation and ultimately, I believe, increasing achievement because they're engaged, they're participating, and you as the teacher are better able to determine how many kids do I have in here don't have a clue about what I just taught. And we're like, okay, here's where I need to reteach. So it's very informing.